There are so many incredible FOSS projects out there from tiny little CLI apps that some dude wrote in an afternoon to a distro environment, even to a whole Linux distro. And the vast majority of these projects are made by incredibly hardworking volunteers. Sure, there are the handful of projects managed by big companies like Canonical, Red Hat, and so on, but that's not the majority. Most of it is just people doing what they love. And while the technical infrastructure to allow for funding has been available for a very long time, and some people do make a bit of money, the vast majority of people don't. And by not being able to dedicate yourself entirely to a project, it seriously slows down its development. But there is one open source software company that started like every other project, some dude who had an idea and wanted to make something, who wants to give something back. This is the AppRite Open Source Software Fund. This is a 50,000 US dollar fund they are setting aside that basically any open source dev can apply for. Now that project isn't going to get all of the money, it's going to split up into $2,500 chunks. Now a lot of you guys probably haven't heard of AppRite, and I know that I hadn't before researching this video. So basically what they make is this open source backend server for web and mobile and Flutter developers, things like that. This is intended to be a alternative to things like Firebase, which is Google's project. And in the blog post announcing this new fund, there is this really long-winded explanation about who AppRite is, the challenges they faced along the way, how we got here, and things like that. But the shorthand version is, two years ago this project started, and when the dev started it, Basically, they fell in love with the open source space, they were really happy about how friendly everyone was, and all of that fun stuff. Three months into the project, the project started to gain a lot of momentum, and that's when the dev decided to go full-time. Which wasn't a good idea, because the dev didn't have consistent funding, but he did believe in the project. And he got really lucky with some early investment offers from Bessemer and Flybridge, and this led to an $8.5 million seed funding round, and now there are 27 full-time developers working on this project. And I could be very pessimistic about this fund and say, hey, this looks an awful lot like a marketing expense. This is going to get a lot of eyes onto the project and build good faith in the community, but look, if it's a marketing expense, totally fine. $50,000 is $50,000, and there's a lot of open source developers who could really benefit from that. So if you are one of those devs, I'll leave the link to apply in the description down below. Basically the way it works is if you get chosen, as I mentioned earlier, you'll be paid out $2,500. This will be done either through GitHub sponsors or your open collective. Unlike, you know, PayPal, Patreon, things like that, they don't take these massive insane cuts and the money you get is basically the money you get. I believe there is some overhead cost, but nowhere near as bad. When you want to go and apply for this, you can either go and nominate yourself or nominate some other maintainer. So if you're someone who doesn't maintain a project, but there is some project out there that you really, really like, and you're like, hey, this dev deserves some money to work more on the project and they deserve to be paid for what they're doing, you can go and nominate them as well. The caveat being, while you can go and nominate as many people as you like, let's say there's 10 or 20 different projects you're a really big fan of, you can only nominate one person a single time. So you can't go and say, nominate yourself 20 different times, for example. The application will be reviewed by the core AppRite team and certain community representatives. And the application will be based on multiple factors, things like the popularity of the project, so if you have like, 10,000 stars on GitHub, and maybe, let's say, 10 or 15 people nominate the project, that is going to raise you up in the ranks. The technological impact of the project, so what sort of effect it's going to have, and how likely that effect is to actually occur. The innovation of the project, so how you're going to solve a problem, how that way is going to be different, and maybe you're trying to solve an entirely new problem, as well as the current funding of the project. So if you already have like, you know, $10,000 a month, it's unlikely you will actually win this. And then within 15 to 30 days after the application has been submitted, you'll receive some sort of response either saying, hey, you've won the reward, or no, you haven't, maybe try again next time. 
There are only two other hard requirements and one soft requirement listed over on the other page. One of those being that you cannot be a company. So if you're someone like KDE, then they couldn't receive the funding. Obviously, KDE has plenty of their own funding streams, but even if you're just a really small company just starting out, then you can't receive the funding because they want to go and support independent maintainers. Also, you cannot receive funding if you've already received funding from this fund. So you can't go and apply for it again after you've already received it. And from there, there's basically no strings attached. They're not buying like a part of your project or anything like that. The soft requirement is just make sure you keep following open source software best practices, which is pretty much what you are going to be doing anyway. This fund has no end date and will keep going until the fund is completely empty. And this was announced, I would say like maybe a week or so ago, maybe two weeks. And I didn't see anybody talking about this. I meant to talk about it a while ago, but I felt like it needed a lot more promotion. Like there's just money sitting on the table here. If you're a developer and you think you have a cool project that more people will benefit from if you had more money to actually work on it, please go and apply for this and see if you can get some funding. And AppRite is encouraging more companies and more individuals to basically do the exact same thing. Because the FOSS world only works when people are giving back. And obviously, it doesn't have to be 50k. Most people don't have 50k to drop on the projects they like. But even if it's just, you know, $5, even $1 is more funding than they had before. And I'm not here to make a value judgment on what you should support. Even if there's some random CLI application that you and three other people use, if that is the project you want to support, I fully encourage you to do so. Whether it's a desktop environment, whether it's a distro, whether it's a terminal, whether it's a, you know, a text editor, whether it's even your favorite content creator, if you feel like they deserve your support, please go and do so. On that note, if you like this video, I'm going to go and like the video. And if you really like the video and you want to become one of these amazing people over here, go check out my Patreon subscribers on your pay linked down below. Let me know what you think of this open source software fund. Do you think it's a good idea? And do you wish that more open source companies like, you know, Red Hat, Canonical, and companies like that would go and do something similar? I would love to know. And I forgot how my outro works. Podcast. Take of a tea. Gaming channel, Brody Robertson Plays, that's going to be it for me, and I'm out.